All right, you know what this video is about. We're working on the go-kart. So what I did the other day, I, uh, well, I put the carburetor from the mini bike on because it's not needing it right now. Um, so I welded the intake at a different angle because the Tecumsehs have a staggered uh, intake pattern. Now, when I was removing the old carburetor, one of the uh, bolts snapped off in the head and I tried everything to remove it, tried welding uh, nuts to the stud that was sticking out and couldn't get it. So I ended up just putting a whole bunch of silicone on it and then welding it to the stud bit that was still sticking out. So, I mean, it doesn't move. It's got a lot of gray silicone on it. So it should, should be okay. It's got one bolt holding it in, so. And then this is also the exhaust from the mini bolt. So I've got the intake situated carburetor on. Now what I need to do is rig up a throttle cable so these carburetors, the cable that comes with it has a thing on both ends so you can't just remove it. Um, so I'm going to have to make a plate that this bolts to and then have another cable that pulls. So to start I'm going to bend up a little tab to bolt this on and then I'll be able to get a cable to pull on the throttle pedal and then we'll have gas pedal. All right, so it's starting to rain outside, but anyway, so I've got this. This is, well, it was a washer. Then I cut a slot in it and then bent it and put a hole in it. So that's going to go in here and then it'll be able to pull it like that with, with this cable. Something like this. And then when the seat cushion's on there, this will just fit nicely in between and then it's kind of pinched there. I put a piece of gas line and wrapped electrical tape so it doesn't uh, chafe on the cable, so that should be fine. And yeah, so I'll put this barrel nut adjuster thing on there, and then we'll see what it... All right, so I just tested it. I've got this piece of hose here so that you don't, you know, if you stepped on it, then it would give it the beans. So that's kind of a safety feature, even though right here there's... But anyway, that's fine. But the problem is, when this is turned, you only get so much throttle, which isn't great. What I think I'm going to do is uh, take these off and then build a new one right here and put the steering on this side and then move the pedals forward and extend a bit here out to here and then add this up as like a skid plate. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll do. So I'll take that off and then going to have to go grab some tubing that's about the same and then we'll make it how it should be then you get a bit more leg room too all right so sitting on here um, if I put the pedals further up uh, this will be pretty good leg room I think so not bad but it works got way more steering angle it bottoms out there and there so that's that's a lot more than I had before. Um, it could go more if I trimmed that bit right there, because it's got plenty of room to go before it cans out here. So that's pretty good. So what I have there is just a hunk of steel tacked onto this, because this was um, right there pretty much. So that's how I got more angle, uh, just moving this point lower. These are pretty flat, these angles, so should be good. Alright, so I should probably film this, but got some wheelbarrow tires. Um, of course they're too long, so I'm welding studs on the end. This side is done, so I'm going to run a washer and then double nut uh, 3 8 stud. And it's a 5 8 uh, wheel with 5 8 bearing. Um, but anyway, that's good. It's a 13-inch tire, it claims, um, but I mean, yeah, about 13 inches, I'd say. So, they'll do better than these tires, I think. So, yeah, and it's a 6-inch rim, so you can get plenty of tires for them, rather than a, what is that, a 3- or a 4-inch rim. So anyway, more common. Alright, so there it is. That should go better through ditches and stuff. Um, the tires don't have much tread on them, but I don't know, we'll try it. Should be fine. 
So now I've got this, uh, I think it's one inch pipe, which is like 1.32 on the outside or something. Um, but it looks close enough. Um, and that's what I had to just in the scrap pile. So I'm gonna go at about four inches and then put in a new piece and then put the pedals forward more. So that's the plan. All right, this is what I've got so far. So here, there's gonna be a bar, the same material as this going from here to there. And then that's where your feet are gonna go in the pedals. Then there's gonna be a, something like this here. Um, so yeah, that's gonna go there. And this is on a bit of an angle. This is like four degrees from this. And then this is um, a bit more, I don't know, like 10 or 20. And we still have a decent approach angle. Um, but then also if you run into something, it's not gonna total the front end. Um, so yeah, it should be good. Also a little, a little bit of angle is better, you know, in snow or something. So that stuff will wanna go underneath and not get thrown up at you. So that's the plan. All right, so what I accomplished, um, I've got this piece here, it's 11 inches, uh, cut in a fish mouth to go over this, and then this piece I tacked on, made sure it was all pretty good within a degree and within, you know, a sixteenth or something, and then took it off, welded it on the table so I could get all the way around it pretty easily, and now I've tacked it back on here, I'm happy with it, we're at 94 degrees on this side and 93 degrees on that side 90 90 90 so it's up a little bit which is fine and this is up a couple more degrees so um, so it's square to uh, the chassis which is on a bit of an angle so it should be should be fine and for a bumper on a go-kart it's probably fine so I'm gonna tack this on a couple more spots and then fully weld that around. There it is. That one looks really good, but not so good on the top. So anyway, it should do good. Should hold. Well, it will hold. Oh yeah, no problem. Yep, that should should work out great. Of course, I'm not going to be wearing work boots when I'm driving it, but I could. But so now I need to put the pedals right there and go. Should be fine. All right, so these are where they're going to be, but because of the angle, it has to be like here's where your foot is comfortable and then it doesn't get the full range of pedal till like it's there. So what I'm gonna have to do is move the uh, attachment point up higher so it gets more swing on it. So probably need to, need to move it up to like there. So I don't know if I wanna weld this on and then I'll probably just weld this on in a higher position like here or something. Um, because yeah, this that's that's no good. And then another thing, the brake doesn't have that much as much travel. Maybe has half an inch. So from there to there would probably be full brakes, which is good because you don't want to be slamming on the brakes, running into a tree, and then this is the first thing that hits because um, th that would be bad. So yeah. So the the gas I just got a longer cable because I had one. This, I don't have a cable, even though it needs a cable, because it's, you know, pulled out of its thing here, so I'm just going to make this bit longer. All it needs to be another what, two inches, three inches longer. So I'll just probably bolt something to it for temporary purposes. All right, there's the brake. And then gas. I put a stop here. Just welded a nut. 
stops before it hits the carburetor and then as the cable stretches and wears in it'll hit first before doing damage to the carburetor. This thing's still good. Probably want a bit of slack. Yeah, maybe I think, I don't know. Drive it. Try it a bit, see how I think. Because there's full pedal there. Doesn't move. Moves. Doesn't move. So yeah, it'll wear in too, so. All right, so it's running with the 26 millimeter carburetor. Uh, pretty good, got the idle tuned in, choke wide open. So um, in the future, I will need to brace this better. But with only one bolt and a little tack weld and a bunch of RTV on there, gasket maker, seems to be okay. Should put a muffler in that, but I think we've got low PSI all the way around, so I'm going to try it and then we'll see what we think. Come back with a conclusion uh, in a little bit and then in another video will be the test riding video, I think. Alright, so I just went for a quick ride. Obviously it got a bit muddy and that's going to die. Anyway. Anyway, the tires are really low and it was really bouncy, so maybe just a little bit of PSI in it, and it'll be fine. Um, might as well shut it off. But yeah, wow, um, what a big difference, just taller tires, because these tires are arguably not as more, n not as aggressive, or no, no more aggressive than the smaller 10-inch tires that I had on here, but just the the size difference it turns a lot better like you don't have to struggle to to turn in the yard like and maybe the steering angle too but this thing is kind of dangerous to drive right now just especially wearing crocs because my feet several times uh tried to fall in there and get run over and going through the corn stalks in the field um i mean I picked up a souvenir but yeah my Oh, pretty wet from here. I went through one puddle in the field So yeah Other than that I might put just a little bit more air in the tires because I mean I'm running maybe two psi and Then I need to tow in the front because it's towed out if we put this tire straight This one is pointing out but other than that, it's more comfortable to drive. Um, also, it would help if I had the floor in because my feet were sliding down and my ankles were resting on this. Oh, I didn't tighten that. That was an oversight. Um, I could have just... Eh, that's fine. Brakes work. Gas works good. I only went full throttle maybe twice. Carburetor seems okay with this. Maybe it cut out a little bit at the top end, but it has way more power and it's more responsive and doesn't cut out. The old carburetor you'd go over bumps and uh, I don't know if the float would hang up or something, but then it would stop sending fuel and it would die like it. you hit the switch or something. But other than that, it goes pretty good now and I think I'm gonna be happy with this. Just gotta put the floor in the front. I've only got steel. I would like to have some th thin aluminum, but for now I'll just put some tabs or drill some holes, same way they did it, and then just some sheet metal screws because that would that would help and then I'll put a piece here then that way corn stalks don't try coming up here and you know impaling the driver um, but these tires were $24 at PV Mart so had to extend the studs and then double nutted it so they're not gonna come off so they should be fine come with grease fittings even so that's good and two sets of bearings, so if we total a set, we can put a new set in. Um, other than that, might want to put some more grippy tires eventually, but I think it's pretty well matched. <laughs>